What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of 10K on the Bay. This is the Sunday Night Reseller Fam Hangout. We are going to go over how to use Terapeak as a sourcing tool. Um, but first, let's talk about how our weeks went. Um, What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of 10K on the Bay. This is this. Sorry, that's unprofessional. Uh, Megan, do you want to start and let us know how your week went? Um, it went pretty good. We, uh, we did not reach our listing goal, but our son turned two this week. So amidst eBay, we were also planning a two-year-old's birthday party. Um, but, uh, otherwise it's been really good today. Uh, we've been just listing like crazy, um, and just basically making up for the the work that we missed while planning and stuff like that so we're just getting back in the swing of it awesome let's go with dave uh well about the same <laughs> um, we did uh we didn't find a new sourcing opportunity for us which we were pretty happy about uh we were looking on craigslist uh super late and i found a ad targeted towards ebay sellers and there's a lot of 200 pieces of clothing asking 200 bucks. Uh, I offered 150 and they even offered to drive it out to me. And it was a total score. We've got uh, Lululemon, Soft Surroundings, Loudmouth, um, just a whole bunch of really good brands. And uh, it looks like, I'm not sure exactly what they do, but it looks like it might be an ongoing uh, setup for them. And so it might be a good opportunity for future things to come to us, which I'm pretty stoked about. That's awesome. That's exciting. Joel, how was your week on eBay? My week was great on eBay and it was terrible on eBay. <laughs> I had a I had a thousand dollar day, then a six hundred dollar day, then a four hundred dollar day, and then nothing. But I also took care of that pile I was supposed to take care of the last time I was on and I got a better system. I actually have a great system now. So that's, that was huge. Awesome. For me. Michael, do you want to unmute yourself? Do you have a mic? Let me on, on, on good, sweet. Yes. Can you hear me? Welcome. You've never been on one of our calls before. Thanks for coming. Um, how was your week on eBay? Actually tell us about you and, and tell us how your week was. Oh, well, yeah, this is my first time doing this that's the first time on my on a hangout um i'm just i i did ebay i attempted ebay about two years ago and then just got overwhelmed and then just let it sit but it's always been in my mind and and this time around i just I, I'm, I'm ready to give it a shot again and and so my goals my goals uh this time around are i want to be out of my job in six months i want to i want to do this full time in six months nice and my main sourcing now is just um, just garage sales. I have enough inventory to. to I, I don't need to. I don't need to source right now at all. <laughs> I shouldn't be sourcing. Mean, what does that mean? Like, quit your job? Like, how much income do you need to replace? Uh, it, it's a. It's it's thirty grand. I just need to. I need to cover thirty grand um, annual income in in six months. I, I think it's, that's very reasonable. Mm -hmm. That's definitely doable. That's good. That's a good thing about having a, a lower income. I can, it's, it'd be. How are you like, are, how are you towards that goal now? Is it possible to do both before you quit? As far as. Did you make 30 grand at work and 30 grand on eBay before you quit? Yes, that's, that, that would be my goal. That would be okay. the goal in the six months. All, All right. right. That's cool. Noel, how was your week? How are you? Good. It was a good week. Um, I didn't have to source every day because I'm finally growing my death pile. So one day I got to stay home and list all day and I really love that. It made me feel really productive because I feel like the school day is so short. Like I drop the kids off and then do a couple of things and I feel like it's already time to go pick them up. So it was nice to just stay home, get a ton of, well, not a ton, not as many as I thought I could do, but get some listings in before I had to go pick them up again. So it's a good week. I want to keep growing that death pile. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you you have this the opposite problem of most people, which is not enough stuff to list. So Ken Hustleby, what's going on? Um, how was your week? What's up? Uh, my week was awesome. I uh, just got off uh, all-time uh, sales 
a high as far as November would uh, concern. Uh, and uh, Q4 is real. Uh, I'm just I'm just so amazed every day uh, how Q4 really is performing. And really this week I have just been focused on learning what are the trends on Q4 basically for next year. Uh, so I'm learning toys. I'm looking at toys. I'm looking at uh, where people source them, where uh, where the uh, online drops and stuff like that. So kind of like this year is like a kind of like a, a mock draft for me, uh, just trying to, you know, kind of like play in my mind if I buy this, if I buy that, uh, because definitely next year uh, I want to take advantage of the hot deals uh, and the hot toys next year. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty relaxed week. Uh, nothing really uh too crazy going on but yeah but everything's been doing good awesome well we're gonna get straight into it guys we're gonna try to learn how to use terapeak i'll be straight up with you guys i have a subscription i'm not an affiliate we're just gonna learn how to struggle through it together to find out what item hot items there are to sell um it's sort of like the jungle scout for ebay so let's just get straight into the program see if we can find some hot stuff to sell together um all right, let's get into this. Let's see if we can. Let me know if you guys can see my screen. Are we in there? Okay, so this is product research 2.0. Um, let's just look up. Let's look up. Uh, what are those things called? That like the lol balls. What's the what's the title for that toy? LOL surprise. LOL surprise big is it one surprise. word or two words? LOL big surprise. Big surprise. Yeah. Is it three words? Yeah, three wow. words. Okay, LOL, big surprise. Let's see if any pull up. Holy crap, 25,000 of them. Wow. That's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Um, average price of $64. Is that good? Well, it depends, no. I guess, no. because there's a different series. So what size should we look up? Well, the big one, that, the third one right there. The third yeah. one? With yeah, 50. One. So the big surprise. Oh, wait, big surprise. But people are keyword spamming <clears throat> with big sister. Yeah, yeah they are. So okay, what what's the big sisters is the is the one that's desirable? No, that's the no. one that's only ten dollars. The one the third one down is sixty. I yeah, think it runs LOL 60. big surprise, the real big surprise. Okay, so if we go up here, can we type minus big sisters? Does that work? Or minus, uh, minus sisters? sisters. Yeah. Does that work? Maybe. I'm not an expert in Boolean. Oh yeah, that must have worked. Look at that. So we remove the sisters. So guys, if you want to remove a search term do subtract and it should omit all those search results that suck. So this is more like it, right? A hundred bucks. What is this retail? 60? Yeah. 60 to 70. Yeah, 59. Yeah. I mean, so how, do you, um, how do you ship this? It looks pretty and big. It fits in a 12 by 12 by 12 and it's five pounds. What? Okay. Sweet. So yeah, it's supposed to be like, uh, that's more uh, correct there in the bottom. Chris says average sale price 130. Like uh, the 100, I think that's kind of skewed because of the people that are spamming it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's try to search low to, oh, wow, 500 bucks. Someone's getting greedy. <laughs> but, uh, well, it's like a whole lot, five of them. People are like wholesaling these. Yeah. Crazy. That might be more worth it, guys, if you want to do, oh, it includes, does this include fixed price for a dollar? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, that's weird. So people are, are, are spamming it. Yeah. So okay. that's the hard part about that. It is the hard part. But this is an, this is an idea, guys. Think about this. If you were to buy five balls, and the cost is going to be 300 something. And selling it for 475 you're going to net 100 bucks, which is worth it. Somebody has five kids, and they all need a big surprise ball. Yeah. That might work for them. Um, I, I like that idea of lotting up a hot toy. I don't know. Does that work? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I prefer not to. Yeah, I don't think so because that's going to be a pain to ship. <laughs> One point oh, yeah. seven million in sales. What's this? What's this uh, time frame? Just in the last month. Yep. Yeah. Holy crap! Okay, so this is really, really, really strong. Um, let's see. Just as a reference, let's look at something that's not popular. Let's go right, right. Um, used Gap pants. <laughs> in the last month, <laughs> what what kind of results are we getting? Millions. Okay, 199 bucks in sales. Wow. So Sell-through rate is at 13%. It's 
<laughs> That's insane. There's so only eight we, people selling Gap pants. I'm just thinking it's yeah, it's it's just like that's the total sales in the last month, hardly any. Wow. The average price, but this look at this. This is cool to look at because we're looking at an average sale price of ten bucks. And I was talking about this on my channel. Like, um, Gap is like these these pants are like twenty bucks, right? And so like new. So of course the the market's not going to be that strong. Only twenty have sold in the last month. That's crazy. So this is an awesome tool because you can find out um, what's selling. Let's see. What else should we try? What other toy? Fingerlings. 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 Oh, man. This is going to be nuts. Fingerlings. Ginger. Fingerlings. Monkey. Three million in sales in the last month. Wow. Yeah. That's three days. It's only December 3rd. No, it's from November 2nd. Oh, no. oh it is November 2nd. Oh, okay. It, yes, it, this is a trending 30 days. Oh, okay. Of course, it is okay. toy season. But wow. There's 88,000 new. Only 202 pre-owned. No <laughs> one is selling it because their, their kid hasn't received it yet, right? Sell throughout 59%. Wow. This is intense. I'm not reading the comments, guys. So if people are freaking out in the comments, let me know. The people are selling wholesale. Yep. 100 pieces. So this is all something I want to suggest for you guys. I'm starting to buy items on eBay like crazy because there's a billion items for sale. So if you can't find something for sale on eBay to resell on eBay, you're not looking hard enough because if you just type in wholesale, actually, let's do this. Let's type in wholesale fingerlings and see what comes up. Oops, spelled it wrong. Oh, there's none. Lot. 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 2013, hmm. hmm. 2,500, 1,200. So if you get super lucky and you contact one of these people and they're a distributor for fingerlings and you become great friends with them and your kids go to school together, then you're <laughs> hooked up. That's a lot to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true, but. It's like winning a lottery. That is a little bit like winning the lottery. So don't expect <laughs> that. But this, it is cool to see that it is available. You can get 22 assorted fingerlings. What happens when you click on it? Does it open up the actual listing? Yep. Whoa. Uh, it, uh, it's sold. It's sold. Wow. So this is interesting. VIX is like 100%. Oh, wait. I was going to say all new items, but there's a used stroller. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah, they under they undersold those finger links. That was so cheap. I would have bought that. Thirty bucks, Vera Bradley. Let's go back to that. So they sold um twenty two finger links for six hundred bucks. Is that super cheap? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's only like twenty seven a piece. But that's it's still double almost. What are they yeah. selling for? Like plus retail. 15. Four, nine, 14, yeah, 15 bucks plus fees. He's yeah. done with fees and shipping. What do they resell yeah. for? 30, I mean, 45, 40 to 45. So let's just say 40. 40 yeah. would be $880. Is that enough of a margin to buy this? Mm -mm. Kind of, no. not really. Yeah. That, that, but they're that, all identical. That's what I'm trying to uh, figure out with a toy, R toys ROI. It's kind of. Also, um, I was looking at this analysis that this guy put up. He sold like 1,300 toys for over, over MSRP on um, eBay and had the same toys on eBay using a tool like Joe Lister and only sold like 100. Like exact same toys, exact same price, but wasn't selling them at all on eBay or compared to the on Amazon. It was just pounding it over MSRP. Hmm. I don't know. How do you, do you guys have experience with that? So it's it's it varies by toy. It varies mm. uh, by year. Last okay. year, a lot of toys did better on Amazon. This year, I feel like maybe because a lot of sellers are jumping. A lot. There's a lot more sellers. Uh, this year, a lot of toys e there are doing better on eBay. Wow. One Good. toy that I just recently got already has 75 FBA sellers on it, but only 30 active listings on eBay. 
Let's look at those. Um, what are those Barbie things called? Those expensive Barbie toys that are like 400 bucks. The Barbie American girl doll. The Is Hello it? Dream House. Yeah. Uh, there aren't really expensive Barbies anymore. That I thought there was like a Barbie. Dream House is called the Hello Dream House. I, I think. Structures and furniture. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was talking about. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, 43 bids, 590. Well, this is expensive. How much is this retail? Three. Yeah. Three. Whoa. Jesus. Everything on this video will tank, so nobody <laughs> buy it. 75% sell through rate is ridiculous. Yeah, but ASP is very low. Very oh, it is low, but I don't know. It could be auctions. This one won't tank because it's hard to find. Yeah, and it's hard oh. to ship. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. All right. Well, I was thinking about sharing my Terapeak subscription, but apparently that's not a good idea because it has all your eBay data in it. So. Yeah. 34 yeah. pounds? Yeah. Jeez. That's crazy. Holy crap, Barbie. That's in the box. It's only 28 pounds out of the box. <laughs> only. You would know. <laughs> wow, look at this thing. Crazy. Okay. That's serious. I'm just curious. I want to type in Nike cleats. What do you guys, what do you guys think the market is for Nike cleats? Is crap. It? Crap. X is it? It's not worth watching this. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. Don't do it. Oh, it's way lower than I thought. Only 723,000 in sales? Yeah, what are you doing? But are you look, serious? Look at, yeah, look at the sell through. So slow. The, the, the low yeah, ball. So low. So many yeah. sellers. They're saturated. Yeah. So saturated. That's crazy. The, the law ball. All right, let's type in. Let's type in Yeezy. <laughs> 4 million. So easy, strong, stronger than the law ball. 37% sell through rate, 253 average sale price. Chris, you might want to click fixed price. Click fixed price. That's what's uh, skewing. Uh, that's what's messing with the ASP. Okay. Try apply. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Apply. What? That's not right. Is it not? 255. That's not. Uh, try new. Click new and product condition. That's that's not right. Too low. Yeah, 255. That's retail for Yeezys. There must be a lot of fakes. Yeah, probably. Try to hit. Oh, so if people are keyword. Oh, you gotta put shoes, spamming. Chris. It's gotta be on the shoe category. <laughs> yeah, they're keyword uh, spamming. La, it was no, nah, it was like Yeezy stickers or something like a Yeezy keychain. Right there, athletic. V the four thousand was more like it. Three eighty two. Click uh fixed price. Is it fixed price already? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, wow, that's low. Cents. They're basically these are just like to They're just keyword spamming. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing that I couldn't would be hard to figure out. So this is this is great because when you're doing your research on here, there are a lot of variables. Yeah, so it's not that easy, really. It's not that easy. No, to do your homework. Let's type in um, Nike Jordan bin nine. Hmm. No. Nine no. No. This is this is the same data as just looking for on the solds. Right. Right. So I guess the more specific you get, this is sort of maybe to look at the entire market as a whole. Yeah. But the thing that I do like about it is the total sales gives you an idea of how popular the trend is. So, Chris, uh, yeah. go back to Gap Pants. Uh, yeah. Take away the use. Okay. It's got to be for, for the price. It's got to be more useful than just learning total sales. Gap Pants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you get, yeah. Get rid of the new. Get rid of new. Yeah. Wait, what do I have? There are no gap pants on eBay. This is totally messed oh, up. Oh, it's uh, it's on your category, Chris. I think it's in the shoe category. Uh you wanna you might wanna go back to there we go. Yeah, there there we go. it is. See, there you go, twenty-three thousand sales. 
That's still so low. Yeah. You would never pick up a pair of Gap anything. Look at the number of sellers, too. It's a lot. Yeah. Average sale price, thirteen forty one. So you're right about that twelve ninety five ship. Yeah, wow. $12 ship to start of the market for used clothing. Um, what's another brand, another mall brand? What about like White House Black Market? I'm just curious. So 2,000 people competing with you for only a $33,000 market. That's insane. What's a, what's a, well, let's check out Supreme. Do I dare even put that in? It's trending like like fire right now. Yeah. What do you guys think it's going to be? What's no, the market for Supreme? Do Supreme old? North Face, Chris. Okay. Oh, Supreme yeah. I mean, it just dropped, you know, so. Holy. Look, dude, look at that. Look how few <laughs> sellers there are. One, uh, 1,200 1, sellers for $1.3 million. Dominating. Dominating. Wow. That's intense. That is intense. Okay, let's look at this regular Supreme. Well, it's like that's a, a lot of it is the jacket. Look, yeah, it's like half is the jacket. Yeah, this is the jacket is so expensive. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Crazy. <laughs> Some other, let me just let me just look at Banana Republic because that's something that people find. Forty-seven thousand. Let's look at J Crew. Forty-seven thousand. Wow, that's not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Well, no wonder. Let's see. Try the do the Robert Graham. I want to do Arcteryx. Okay, see how that's few sellers there are. Five hundred and fifteen, but one hundred and thirty-three thousand in sales. Yeah, but like the seller is like crazy too. The seller is ridiculous. Look at the seller rate on this. Wait, what? What did you say? Robert Graham. Robert Graham. Okay, let's check it out. That's it? What? There's only 38 sellers. But they look at the oh, A. No, that, that was because it's in fiction literature. Oh, okay. shirts. <laughs> Let's go to casual shirts. Still. It's a lot better than the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Still not that great though. Mm -hmm. Better than I thought wow. it was. Wait, let's check out. Let's check out. I bet vintage Tommy Hilfiger is bigger. Vintage Tommy. Let's just look in. Wait, wait. What? Are, vintage no, Tommy. Still casual shirt. Wow, that's pretty competitive. So it is kind of flooded. Five cars of Paul can yeah. too. But, <laughs> wow, that's insane. What else can we search? Hey, Glass City Picker said, "Do Nike versus Adidas to settle okay. the." Let's see. Let's just look at. Let's see Nike. Let's go for Nike Athletic and compare to Adidas Athletic. Yeah. Nike Athletic. The, the 17, 17. Look at that ASP though. Wow. Seventeen million versus. Wait, we're doing Adidas. Yeah. Adidas in Athletic. So seventeen million versus seven. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no wonder my Adidas sells so slow. Wow. And this, it's important to do the exact same um, category. Yeah. No. Uh, Reebok. Athletic. No. They don't even have it for just the athletic category. What about New Balance? Right there. So 7 million versus, oh, wow. 1 oh, million. Wow. wow. That's crazy. Well, that is, that's bizarre. That's insane how different Nike just dominates. <laughs> seventeen, it's seventeen times bigger than this. Okay, this will be a scary one. Under Armour. Um, uh, how can I search athletic? Just athletic apparel, right? Mm, you need to well, compare. Not, um, well, it will take away the shoes. It'll so. take away the shoes. Hmm. Let's just it's, look at Under Armour athletic apparel. Yeah. They're not doing very well. Nope. Under a million. Oh, wow. Under a million. So, Thirty health rate though. Athletic apparel. Oh wait. How do you search inside that category? Um click on the bottom, like the ebay.com on uh on your let's see. It's below uh be, right above low oh, search product identifiers. 
No, down. Down. Oh, down. 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 Right there. Down. There. Oh. Okay. So, okay. Um, so, go, go back to uh, what... Just click on the uh, clothing, shoes, and accessories. So, it'll be just the brand. Yeah. So, Nike? Yeah. Try that. So, that means it's searching all categories. Okay. So, it's searching all categories. 17 million in sales. But we can choose just shoes, right? Right. Uh, drop oh, down. Wait. Right there. Oh, men's shoes, hundred and five thousand. Okay, apply. Sixteen million. Wow. So mostly Six. shoes. <laughs> so it's mostly shoes out of the seventeen million. Wow. Uh, I can't be right. So try, try clothing, Chris. Try clothing under Nike, and no, we'll do shoes. Nike shoes. Three million in sales. Well, that's men's. So oh, early, man. yeah, right. Okay, wait, just real quick. Nike. Let's do Nike men's shoes. What is it? It's um, two point seven million. What about women's shoes? That's not right. Oh, Nintendo. Well, the category. category is wrong. Oh, the it's category. the wrong category. Women's shoes and in, in clothing in the shoes category is eight hundred thirty-five thousand. Hmm. So I'll try men's. So men's is stronger. Mm -hmm. I thought that women's shoes would definitely be stronger with Nike, but I guess not. That's what I. Uh, that's what I was like trying to figure out when you said that. Like, oh, over overall. Probably overall, right? Not an e not just on eBay. Huh. But if we type in running shoes. Uh, try Lululemon, Chris. Lululemon. Or Nintendo. Oh, and Nintendo. Lululemon's at 1.3 million. Very strong. Very competitive. Uh, look at that. 10,000 sellers? 10,000 sellers. Oh. Not even a so, high seller rate. So that means like every person, not every, there's a lot of people just emptying their closets, right? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of unique sellers. Yep. Hmm. Try Patagonia. Patagonia. Let's do Nintendo first. Okay. Nintendo. Oh wait. Oh, it's under yeah. clothing. It's under women's clothing. Video Run. game is five million. What? Okay. Look at those sellers. Video games and consoles is ten million. Oh, you can do just eBay.com. Okay, that's what we should do. Right. eBay.com. Nintendo has ten has had ten million dollars in sales in the last month. It's a lot. Fifty three thousand sellers. Oh wow. my goodness! <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, how many sellers were on Nike? Go Let's back go to back to Nike.com. Yeah, Nike, and then go to um, eBay.com. Sixty eight thousand. What was it before eBay.com? Um, we going to shoes. Clothing. I think you were in a clothing. clothing. Oh, oh, clothing. Right wow. there. 66. So it's all, it's, I mean, it's all clothing, shoes, and accessories. That's, right. That's the majority of it. And then what, what did you say? Um, Patagonia? Yeah. Let's search eBay.com. 43% sell you. Very strong. Oh, wow. It's a good brand. 1.6, uh, 6, 16,000 sellers. That's a lot. Wait, I'm going to click on the um, Supreme. Uh, let's do su whoops, Supreme, and then let's go to clothing, shoes, and accessories. Seven point five million with seventeen thousand sellers. Wow. It's still competitive. No, Nike was like what at sixteen million with sixty six thousand sellers. Yeah. <laughs> so this is way less competitive. Yep. Being in the hype game is is easier. Wait, okay, let's go to Under Armour and do the clothing now that right. we know. Wait, is it, am I spelling it wrong? Oh, you are. And then. Yeah. 24,000. One third sell through rate. Yeah. 
So what do you guys think? Do you want to match your sell-through rate with the industry sell-through rate? Because it depends so much on the exact thing that you're selling. Right. But look at the ASP on that one, though. 26. It's so low. So low. Under Armour is really struggling. What about Gucci? <clears throat> Seventeen thousand sellers, seven million in sales. Wow, cool. that's a better game. Yeah. One forty-four. Gucci is a better game. How about Michael Kors? People say it's flooded. Twenty-six thousand sellers for six uh, million. It's not bad. About the same as the Supreme. About the same as the Supreme. That's uh, true. Try uh, anthrop anthropology. 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 Let's do the whole website. Anthropology. 10,000 sellers for 800,000, not even wow. a million. Wow. That's that's flooded. Look at the sell through. That's horrible. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what about free people? <laughs> Let's check this out. Free people, not even a million either. But is free, I don't understand. Is free people a sub brand? Yes. Okay. Under anthropology. Oh, okay. They, actually, have, they have their own um, stores. Right. And this is actually deceiving because Anthropology has all those sub brands. Uh, Chris, so try like, Apple. Oh, let's try Apple. Oh, my. I'm not even ready for this. 28 million. Oh, wow. 28 million. That's actually good. And it's not that it's not as competitive as Nike. And it yeah, has, so Nike has like 66,000 with 17 million. So yeah, yeah, let's no, all that's, hop to uh, Apple game. The Apple game. Try a uh, GoPro. Okay, let's try GoPro. Four million. Wow, less than ten thousand sellers. Fifty percent sell through rate. Yep. Wow, because Prince was talking about having a six day average sell through rate, and we were like, "What?" <laughs> so that must be why. That's insane. Four million in sales. Try Polo, Ralph. Oh. Wow, it's still six million. Six that's pretty good. Yeah. What about Ralph Lauren? Yep. It's still strong. It's still a really good brand. Hmm. hmm. So uh, wait, what's the average sale price? Oh, thirty six dollars. Yeah. So Apple wins. Hmm. Apple wins. Apple's the strongest brand so far we've seen. Try Toyota. Yeah, cars is going to be kind of a different. I wonder if uh, it's only going to be car parts. Yeah, you can probably sort it car parts. You can probably sort um, eBay Motors. Yeah. You can't. Is that it? No, you can't do eBay Motors. It's all parts. Oh, so in parts. Oh, that's not much. It's a different. Oh, yeah, I could do eBay Motors. Can I do eBay Motors? No. Oh, right there. Yep. You can. Oh, you can even do international. That's oh, wow. 15 million. <laughs> <laughs> wow how is the average price 56 dollars because well, it includes parts oh it's include okay yeah it like, includes like the sense. five dollar plastic part so it is really strong but it's not as strong as freaking apple yeah and, and it includes cars well the thing with apple you have to be it apple like probably includes like apple case that's like, true apple, you know, like Apple. There's millions like, of cases. Yeah, that's the thing. So, or Apple printed shorts. Yeah, or Apple shoes. That was probably what did it, Chris. Like, that's probably true. The Apple shoes. I wonder if it pulls that up. Is it going to pull up my one listing? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, it looks like sure. a lot of people have spammed it. This is an Apple. 3000 So if you sell yours, you'd be 13000 <laughs> What's that? Is that just an apple? Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, uh, a Crocs charm. Legit, friends. Oh, my God. oh, snap. A legit <laughs> apple. Okay, let's see. Oh, what, what, what are the brands? What are the strongest brands in the world? What about um, definitely Apple? Oh. Now, off white. Off white's there just because of the Nike collab. I yeah. think it's SEO. Huh. 
Not, not even a not million. Even million, but not that many sellers. Good average sale price. Slow. It's very slow. What about did you? Um, Wait, what what's the biggest clothing brand? Is it Marona? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is for most volume, right? It's discontinued no. now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's not Marona. What's the most commonly sold thing? Is it Old Navy? That's right. Oh, look at that. Well, 18,000 sellers for half a million. Yeah, you have to check the uh, item sold. It's like 34,000 sold. Wow. Average price $11. And look at their shipping. It's like five sixty nine. dollars Yeah, that's true. But that makes sense. That's a padded flat rate. I mean, a flat rate envelope. Yeah. Wow. What's bigger, Gap or Old Navy on eBay? Gap is Gap. Wow. Oh, 17 bucks. 17 oh. bucks. That's better. What about Banana Republic? We already looked at this, but now I know how to make the search the same. So it's half as. So of those three brands, Gap is the easiest to sell, but they're all pretty competitive. Yep. Slow sell through, too. Slow sell through. So, so basically, um, what I'm looking at. So if you want to speed up your sell through, all you have to do is undercut the average sale price. Right. So look at this 11 bucks for Old Navy, 17 for Gap, 19 for Banana Republic. Uh, Forever 21. Forever 21. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, let's Lord. dominate the market. Only $6,000. 6,000 sellers for 10 bucks. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Man, they're really fighting for this 100 grand. <laughs> Wait, what is that per person? That's not, it's like, that's not even, that's like 12 bucks per person. That's not even two items per person. Yep. We, we sold a Forever 21 dress yesterday, a velvet See? one. You for are more than $10. Velvet wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I try. Uh, what else? Ooh, wait. Let's. let's I want to search plus size. Okay, plus size is just this that in every category is two point six million with twenty thousand sellers at a fifteen dollar average sale price. Now let's do petite. Does that mean you're short? Yes, but there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay. So for short, you have. That's strong. 27 hmm. ASP. It's, str it's stronger than plus size. We have to pay more. Yeah, 27 ASP. That's, that's not bad. A salty rate's horrible, but 11% um, salty. What's the other one? Tall? Hmm. Big and tall. Big and tall. Oh. oh, big and tall. Big and tall is, is pretty good. Only 5,000 sellers. Actually, that's still a lot. Seltzer is better. Seltzer is much better for big and tall than it is for petite. But you have to uh, consider, though, that we're only checking it within the last 30 days. So no, seasonality will, will, will be... Is it 30 days? Oh, okay. yeah, November 2nd. Let's look at Ugg jeans. Boots. Ugg boots would be a good one to look at. Ugg boots would be good. So total jeans, <laughs> 6 million. That's a strong market. But the seltzer, though... 11%. Wow. No wonder my jeans don't sell. No, no wonder, wonder I hate jeans. Sell. Everyone, 74,000 no sellers. Try shoes. Uh, wait, is that the highest we've seen? Yeah. 66 was Nike. Wait, wow. what was the, the store? We, we've, Dave and I found a store. I call them Jeans, Jeans, Jeans. And hmm. he sells jeans for 99 cents. Is it 99 cents? It's a yeah. It's all all dress, dress pants, pants for, for two bucks, bucks, all of them, and like nine dollars shipping. Hmm. And so he and he sells, but that's well, I know he, he makes money without fees. So let's yep. look at let's look at shoes the category and see how many how big it is. Is that it for shoes? Wow, wow, yeah. definitely not go. Don't go into oh, shoes. because when we did Nike, it wasn't just shoes. Eight percent. Look at that. That's horrible. Shoes as a category is very flooded. Yep. Six million or sixty-two thousand sellers. So if we go Nike shoes, um, let's see how much of it is Nike. So we have um, wait, two hundred and seventy-eight thousand 
things were sold that were all shoes. Mm -hmm. And then let's click this. So a third, a third is Nike. Yep. Wow. Not too bad. Look at the sell through. Oh. It's very good. Oh, no way, Chris. Shut this off. <laughs> Wait, that's what do this. <laughs> I think that's one of the highest sell through for. Oh, look at that. It's not bad. 27 plus sell through. Well, 3 million versus 5 million. Adidas is stronger than I thought. It's pretty. It's not. Is there a way to search just what's trending instead of entering in brands that you think of yourself? Probably. Let's Someone see. was asking. Hot research. Oh, this might be something different, Chris. Oh, snap. Sales rank. No sales rank? Wow, there's sales rank. What? Oh, my God. Business and industrial. Um, All right, that's it for tonight, guys. You have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> well, Com computer, tablets, and networking is hot. Whoa. Hot, very hot, super hot. What is the, how does the ranking work? <laughs> super hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, super the, hot. On the left, hot. Side. The best. On the left <laughs> side, Chris, you got to go to the left super side. Super hot is the best. Gift cards. Wow. Wow, you feel cool. the vehicles is up there? Personal security alarms is super hot. Wow. TVs? Wow. So, <laughs> electric yeah. massage Look at chairs. TVs. No, number 15. Look at TVs. Number 15 in the sales rank. Wow. wow. People buy TVs on eBay. That's crazy. That's some crazy shipping. Look at the sales rank. It's ridiculous. It's sorted by, by sales, sales rank. rank. Yeah. What does that even mean? Cell phones. Wow. Coats, jackets. Oh, skip through that. Holy crap. There's sales rank on eBay. Yeah, there we go. Pokemon number 36. I can't believe Pokemon. Because <laughs> I remember when I was listening to Pokemon Go, and the, they were Pokemon Go was making $10 million a day, and the CEO was like, I don't get out of bed for $10 million a day. So obviously <laughs> the other stuff makes a lot of money. Let's see. Very hot, super hot. So even though maybe the hotness is the largest category, it's only hotness, considered hot. Yeah. The hotness is probably season. The super hot is the TV. The TV is a super hot, followed by wheel loaders. What? What's a wheel loader? Probably like the forklift. Wheel loader. The manual, the super hot. This, like a. That's a payload. Oh, that's a wheel loader? Okay. Okay. Um, super hot TV, super hot uh, monitors. I can see that. Yep. S sweaters. Super hot because uh, probably I think that there's like a timeline on this too. Oh, it's considered super hot even though it has a normal sell through rate of twenty percent. Right. So that means sweaters are horrible the rest of the year. Click on the uh, uh, percentage. Sort it by percentage, Chris. Oh, okay. Let's sort it by percentage. Headphones. Just headphones had a sixty-six percent sell through rate. Yeah. Wow. So the film yeah. is the thing that's selling the fastest. 87% success. Gift cards sense. up there too. Gift cards make sense. You just price it a little bit cheaper, it'll sell. Yeah, they probably auction it too, a lot of them. Yeah. Smart glasses. What's that? I gift never considered there. buying gift cards to resell gift cards back on eBay. That would work. Yeah, you make so, so little money though. <laughs> so little money, I know. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather drop ship. <laughs> excavator, right there. Excavator, very hot. Number 10, 70%. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> go down. Go down, Chris. You see that? Oh, yeah. oh no. No industry. This, all this equipment sells yeah. really well. Probably because it's so, um, there's so few of them. Yep. But the demand is high. So let's look at this market. There's, um, Two hundred and forty-nine for sale. 
and 122 sold. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. That's pretty strong. Let's check their ASP. <laughs> ASP is pretty good. It's pretty strong. <laughs> For sure. 10,000 trackers would be a billion dollars. Okay, let's see here. Video games is very hot. Chargers and cradles. Chargers, cradles, sporting goods, black powder accessories. Is that gun wow. stuff? Probably. Whoa. Coupons. That's crazy. You can sell coupons on eBay too. Wow. I you never get it considered free. that. Buying a coupon. Activity trackers is pretty hot. It's like Fitbits and stuff is 33. Yeah, yeah. cuz Fitbit is so cheap now. That's why they're going to eBay. Apple Apple Mac MacBooks are number 4 for rank. Wow. Cell phone accessories and, and smartphones are number 1. Number 1. Wow. I would have never guessed that that's number 1. I thought for sure something else would be. But what is surprising is clothing for men's jack coats is number one. I mean, number two for clothing. Men's jackets and coats. But the rest of the year, it's not that great. In the summer? That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, super hot. This, um, the TVs looks like it's relatively hot all year. It's super hot right now, but it normally has a half selfie rate. Ebook readers right there, 70%. Wow. Video game consoles, 59. Don't complain about not knowing what to sell, guys. This is a lot of categories. Look how look at boots. Boots is number seven right now for women's shoes, but normally 29%. Yeah. Scary. Hmm. Video game consoles are hot all year. Mm -hmm. What's the hottest all year? Let's see. I already looked at this, but um, well, the slowest is collectibles. Wow. <laughs> uh, these are the least seasonal. It makes sense. Cameras, consumer electronics, computers. Mm -hmm. um, well, is there, there's, is there people? So trying? not even in like relatively close to what we sell. I just let two more people in. Sorry, I, was, I didn't get to you earlier. Um, Gift cards, sporting goods, pistols. Oh, the, the fake ones, right? Airsoft. Yeah, airsoft. Airsoft. Camera drones is, is very hot. Wow. I mean, it's, it's hot in general. Yeah. It's a sales rank of 20. I would have never thought drones would be that high. Well, you got a lot of Alibaba products there, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Collectibles. Oh, not even. Not even in what we sell, Chris. Well, on, Harry I'm Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. It's very hot. Very hot. Super hot watch bands. Huh. Hmm. Smart watch fun. accessories. I want to make a watch band that's made out of plants. I feel like a lot of people <laughs> would buy that. Should do a Kickstarter. Smart watches. I know. Let's see here. Look, cool. Guns and Roses posters are super hot. What? Uh, for him. How's that? Ooh. What? How's that possible? Guns uh, and Roses is true. No, look them up, Chris. Look them up. Look them up on uh on therapy. Guns and Roses poster. Chris, hey, poster. Oh, hey, Chris. People are asking if you can make your text bigger. Okay. Wow. Um, one thirty-seven. Apple Watch, thirty-eight thousand. Uh, eBay for a second. Apple computer or laptop was that was the one of the hottest though, right? You yeah, might want to four. Yeah, sort by sort by. Uh, uh, I guess that's it. Thirteen thousand. Check well, for some unpopular items. I'd love to see some of those. VHS tape. Oh. That's a good idea. Let's look at unpopular items. Sports cards. That must be what those are. Necklaces and pendants. Whoa, look at this. Sheet it's music. super hot. It normally has a 2% sell-through rate. Hmm. 
Wow. Hot. Wait, I don't say hot or super hot. What's They're the difference between hot and super hot? Well, super hot is uh, it's the it's... better, right? Super is the better. Yeah, but it's not based on sell through, right? Probably by search. What a horrible terminology. I just would be interested to see what came up without the Terra Peak on there. <laughs> right there, support. What does hot categories hotness ranking? Okay. That's not that useful. <laughs> Okay. Um, there's category research too. Do you guys want to try that? Do it. Okay, category research. What category should we search? Clothing. Oh wow. Um, art. Clothing. Oh, total sales like that. So it's red high. Oh, let's let's go back. This is cool. Okay. Oh, wait. Sorry. How do I go back to where it was earlier? Joel, you're hiding in your shirt. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Total sales. You can't see me. So red means hot. Red must mean super hot. Gotcha. So we have uh, gift cards, bullion. That makes Asian sense. Asian antiques, right there, Chris. Yeah, Asian antiques is super Asian hot. Antiques. Literal gold is something really hot. It's probably really hot all year. Yeah, I know somebody that sells gold on eBay. Maybe feeding versus toy. Laptops. Laptops. Under music records, a bunch of m millennials buying records. Yeah, that's true. Records. Wow. Oh, look at their heavy equipment. Sports tickets. Wow, that's crazy. And tickets, Chris. Sports tickets versus concert versus theme. Yeah. Parking passes. <laughs> Whoa. Go down a rabbit hole real quick with this thing. <laughs> Action so, figures is hot. Oh, men's clothing. Look at that. Men's clothing is trending above women's clothing. That's shocking. Women, uh, men's shoes is way over women's shoes. Wow. wow. I don't think it's shocking. I would totally expect men, more men to buy clothes on eBay than women. Really? Yeah, because women like to try things on. Men don't oh. care. Yeah, men are like, they, they're they lazy. They don't want to shop. Okay. Wait, eBay has a funeral that. and cemetery category? Yeah. We got to get into the casket game. Everything else. Adult only. Adult, adult only is crushing. Hot. Look, I can't believe adult only is really beating out religious products. <laughs> Me medical, metaphysical. <laughs> what? <laughs> Personal development. Hmm. <laughs> Way down there. <laughs> Low funeral. Personal security. We didn't make it that far. <laughs> Personal security is above. Not near as important as the adult only. I know. Adult only crushes. <laughs> <laughs> People buy time shares lodging. Video game consoles is the hottest in that dolls, music memorabilia is pretty good. Sewing in crafts. Who would have thought sewing would be number one? Hmm. Basket weaving did not make the list. <laughs> Lame. Lame. <laughs> Jewelry watches is what's up. I, I like the watch game. Sports but that's probably is on top. How? Hunting. Look at that. Sports goods. Hunting. Better than fitness. Wow. 
That's true. All my hunting stuff that I bought sold. That's because you wore them. That's true. It's because I wore them. I have some. Let's see. We have outdoor sports, cycling, golf, fitness, and yo- fitness running and yoga. Wow. Paintings is number one. Is it like literal paintings? Oh, we do not allow. eBay does not permit. Oh, eBay details. doesn't allow it. Oh, come on, eBay. Come on, eBay. <laughs> How dare you? But they have a very low sell through rate. Like, if you get the art said they only had an 8.8% 8. 8% sell through rate. But it was listed as one of the top categories. It's hot right now. Maybe it's a good gift. Or it's just they sell really high when they sell. That could be. Um, How can Guns N' Roses specifically? That's the only specific thing on this whole list. It's so weird. It's so weird. I wonder if it's trending on Google Trends. Guys, you guys should use Google Trends also if you are wondering. Let's see what's trending in the world. Why Donald Trump? Flood. I just want to see if um, Guns N' Roses is trending for some reason. Nope. Not especially. Okay. So all these super hot categories are normally good all year for the most part. TV looks like the most the most stable game right now is TV. Right. Sales ranks good. Hotness. How do, you, how do you do that? It crushes in all of them. So is video game headsets. Hmm. In the top hundred, sells well all year, and it's super hot. That's pretty cool. Personal security alarms is pretty good. Let's look up TVs on the uh, research, Chris. Let's okay. see how many sold. <laughs> Let's look at the TV. Well, I have a different view now. I think you need to click 2.0, product research 2.0. Okay, TV. Hmm. Internet and media streamers. That's probably why. That's probably why it's like the Android boxes and stuff like that, see? Right. But it's not very competitive. Yeah. 2,000 sellers for 1.8 million is very strong. Yeah, and average sale price 50. That's good. And the seller rate is pretty good. So it includes all the little um, Google Fire. Or yeah, like Amazon Fire Stick. The Fire Stick stuff. Probably unblocking signal stuff is illegal. Whoa. Hmm. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's um, we'll go. We'll stop the screen share. And from what you guys learn from this call, what are you going to source more of this next week? And then we also have to do a giveaway, which we'll do in just a couple of minutes with Noel. Let's start with Michael. After that crazy hour of looking at stuff, what do you want to sell now? You. Oh, I, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Look like some construction equipment, some, <laughs> some big rigs. Big rigs. Um, um, I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused at this point. It's a lot. How about you, Megan? 
Um, I want to throw away all of our Forever 21. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it away. And go in, because we actually have a decent amount of Ralph Lauren. Mm. Maybe raise the prices. <laughs> um, yeah. And just like, just take a look at our inventory and maybe like sign up for Terra Peak and just compare our inventory to that and see what we should discount and what we should maybe raise the price on because there might be a need for it. Mm -hmm. Jason, and did you learn anything? Uh, I would like to, well, definitely I'm glad I'm starting to go into more Nike. So that seemed like a, a decent area, but I'm in it. Yeah, definitely maybe want to get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, I, I, I just set a ton of stuff to go. I'm trying to go into auctions tonight. I, I set like 160 items to go to auctions. So we'll see how that goes. It's my first experiment doing that. Okay. Joel? What? What do you want to sell? Adult only. Adult only? <laughs> <laughs> Super hot right now. It's fire hot. I'm changing my game. That Hansel, he's so hot right now. That's right. Dave, anything? That's her other seller account. <laughs> I, I like the, the TVs and the electronic lots. I think, I think the big thing that, that popped for me is really just is there's a lot of things that, you know, they said they were super hot, but a low, the sell-through rate was lower. Is just building up the store so it has those different items for di different seasonality. And we're not just doing women's clothes. We're doing things that will hit all categories all different times of year. So we're just opening up what we're selling. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Tori, do you want to share what you want to source more of these days? And how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Um, I think men's sweaters, because I think that was one of the good sellers. And I don't usually like going through that rack because it's always so itchy and scratchy. But uh, maybe I should take a closer look in that rack. I like that it's horrible all year. <laughs> 20% sell through. <laughs> Ken, are you going to switch it up? Are you getting out of the shoe game now? Yeah, shoes are horrible. Nike's horrible, so I have to change plans. Uh, no, um, oh, I, I want to uh, learn uh, equipment. Um, not really like the big equipments. I seen the utility uh, like tools and stuff like that. Uh, actually, was good there. That was something that I want to add on. But I, I think, um, I think. Uh, I'm in the right track. I just need to get better at what I do because the market is there. Everybody's buying it. So just really uh, step my game up on my lane. Okay. Um, is every, did everybody go? I'm not going to sell on eBay anymore after looking at that. <laughs> I'm just going to go to brick and mortar. I'm going to get a regular job now. Um, Noel, let's give away a ticket. You ready? I am ready. Awesome. I don't know who's still watching, but please like the video. <laughs> and if you want, rejoin our, sh our listing challenge on Mondays. And you guys are welcome to enter, and you can have a chance to win a free ticket every single week. Okay. So we had 10 people complete their goals this week. Oops, I need to change the number. There's two people entered late. Okay. Um, so there's 10 on random.org. I'm going to – oh, I got to show the – Generate number 10, Thrifty Viking. And I did double check and they um, did everything properly. So they're the winners. Wait, who is it? Thrifty, Thrifty Viking. Thrifty Viking. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah. I love that name. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for coming this week. If you have any questions, email me at 10k on the bay at gmail.com. Come visit us in Kansas City next year in March for the Resar Fam live event. If you use 10k on the bay at gmail.com or 10k on the bay, you get a $50 discount on the ticket. And uh, anybody else have any final words? You'll you'll have the link to the uh, to buy a ticket on this later, yeah, right? The link is in the description already. Cool. All right, guys. See you guys next week. Bye.